I have to verify and then see, then pass order. I'm many uh, good luck, guys. Huh? So, uh, so the, <laughs> sir, in one of the MSCPs, in in the cognate matter, your lordships have passed an order. Acha, I have passed. Give, <laughs> please, please, your lordships. Very smart. See, if your lordships may recollect, sir, that okay. matter in which, sir, there was a dispute of one number, sir, eight and nine. Ah. Please, please, sir, this is the cognate matter. Which are I the same thing? Same, same, please, your logic. This is what review application. Please, please, your logic. Why so the earlier? So the earlier order is at page number seven, your logic. So there, sir, it was withdrawn. Now, sir, I have filed a review application stating that, sir, these are the new facts sir, that has come on record. Do you want me to revive the matter again? Please, please, your logic. Why? So there's a I'll file an additional evidence application in there. Mr. Uh, Loco, uh, we have to write you. Neil the way submitted that uh, <coughs> the <coughs> there's a delay of 214 days in preferring the review application. Since the 
<clears throat> since after collecting the evidence it has uh, collecting the evidence to prove the innocence of the appellant who is now claiming non-involvement of the vehicle as the reason to file a review application and submitted that the cause as has been <clears throat> found in first appeal number 3803 of 2023 is required to be agitated in the present matter and uh, going to ignorance of the going to unawareness of the fact about the about the non enrollment of the vehicle <clears throat> the first appeal was withdrawn, but under new facts and circumstances, the applicant prefers to file review application, and thus that had led to delay of two hundred and fourteen days. Collector judgment ponder. This is in uh, uh, supplementary two. Please, please. I'm much, much obliged. Please. Number 67, my lord. It is SCA, my lord, against the deletion of the uh, insurance company from the proceedings, my lord. Uh, rule is to other, uh, all the respondents uh, today or, my lord, any shortest convenient date, my lord. Because yes. this is a first returnable, I cannot say today itself, my lord. So maybe kept on 22nd or 23rd. Please. Serial number 100. I'm mentioning on behalf of Ms. Oza, I'm requesting for priority in this matter. An old MSCB matter for final hearing. This can be conducted. So there are there are orders passed by the Honorable Coordinate Bench. About what? That the matter should be conducted regardless. Mm. Conducted even if uh, other side had filed a sick note. Even in that circumstance, also it should be conducted. So the order is there. <laughs> All the I can do is request. Show me the order. Show me the order. <laughs> Let us read. In absence, also it should be conducted. Eh? Hmm. You have the copy of the order. I don't have a copy. <laughs> I don't have a copy on my hand, my lord. So it's ninth of November, twenty twenty-three. In the meantime, if the court may, I am seeking circulation. Huh? I am seeking circulation of one matter on Tuesday. Great. Sweet then. Send a copy to that lawyer. <laughs> copy no issues. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand what is falling from the honorable court. No, May no, I request for 19th in that case? Uh, you are actually right. <laughs> Give a date. May I request for the 19th? I am obliged to this one. Number one forty nine. I am permitted to delete respondent number one who was driver. What is it? C number one four nine. Ah. I am permitted to delete respondent number one who was driver, answer driver. One forty nine Lakhajan. The order is again same. Uh, respondent number against respondent number three insurance company three and five mr uh, dvd 149 
submits that response number one is the driver who is a performa respondent since the order is against the insurance company. Barabha chan, insurance Barabha. company chan. <clears throat> Mr. Divita submits that efforts uh, had been made. Diligent efforts, diligent efforts were made to serve the response number one, but uh, could not be found. An address has not been identified. <clears throat> Thus makes Sabriya to delete response number one. In view of the submission made to the facts of the case, permission granted, response number one be deleted from the cost title. Yes. Same request, uh, serial number 157, respondent number 3 may be deleted. Who expired? Who is uh, respondent number 3? He was the witness, my lord, not uh, party of the any of the vehicle, my lord. After that, when you come, you know, I'll pass an order on that day. Please, we have ma'am. to see the file. Please, ma'am. Serial number 69. 69. Hi, here Lordship has called the report from the concerned police station with regard to call detail. I don't know whether it has received or hey, uh, like uh, the matter is concerning a it's a matter of MSCP, but it's concerning a police station. So, he may, you I know, know. Like, on detail uh, CDR I should... I should... Uh, Mr. Varot, Pratik Barot, what is that matter? Uh? The discharge was turned out. That is how Melo signed before this honorable court in the So, therefore, at the relevant time, Los informant was joined as a party respondent. Los, she is a, a, such not, not a necessary party. It is between the honorable court and in the accused. Because what I challenge is Melo's discharge order. But initially, the party was made and she was. Let served. us see, though. No? Let us see the matter first. All Show right. me the matter. All right. <clears throat> Seal number 90. You know, that number three, my lord, I will take a fresh, a fresh notice may be issued. I will take direct service, my lord. Nine, nine, Real also, my lord, nine zero. Nine zero. Number three. Number three. Insurance, I will take notice be issued. It appears, my lord, that somehow the direct service affidavit is not filed, my lord. I will take fresh notice, my lord. You noted the no? number. Uh, nine zero, ninety. <clears throat> be reissued and... Uh, A retainable on 8th of March, 8th of May, sorry. Oblige, ma'am. Oh, may I Direct. Region number 108, my And this is that party in person matter. I need, my lord, this will be kept on Monday, my lord. I to Affidavit, my lord, I have sent, my lord, not received. Both you. Only Ato Monday. Kaya so what? So what? You should have seen there, no? Ah, all the affidavit is not there. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. But this is not right, huh? Monday morning, man. I'm not asking. Monday morning, I want it. Come on, 15 minutes. Come on, come on. That day, I will not grant you data. I'll close your stage. Ah. I may mention? Yeah. Say, uh, Actually, I filed first appeal number 14063 on my board's mistakes. There's an objection in the office. He's mm -hmm. he asking me to get, uh, 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 because uh, there is a one um, interim order. I have paid only 50,000 rupees, uh, both the uh, uh, limits, but by check. And the check is received by his, his doctor, his advocate, and uh, so he, he deposited in the account. Now, office is asking me to give the receipt of the district court because he did not deposit in the district court. So, this is a very small. Why did, you, why did you pay him directly? This is my client went there. No, no, it has advocate, been deposited. No, advocate received, uh, sir, advocate, he, he, uh, opposite, why do you receive the order to check? He deposited. Hey, sir, hey, hey, Mr. Mr. What is the law? You have to deposit the yeah, amount here. I'm sorry, the law, but it is a that is your lookout. None yeah. of my business. But then, then, you know, you know, you know, you know, put in the matter so what is the way out? <laughs> Please. What is the way out? I don't know. You are lawyer. <laughs> Only, my Lord, you are here to advise anyone. My Lord, you direct uh, 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 history to uh, remove the objection. That's all. 
Plus, if the honorable court may have my compilation, but what is under challenge is plus an order starting on page twenty. Plus twenty is a two twenty seven CIPC discharge application plus which was moved by the revisionist. Plus, it is turned out plus on page twenty six. And to because it was a special court, the Satosity court. <laughs> Someone had appeared, no? What was he saying? He's saying... Uh, a... Mr. Vaishya Milos was initially appearing because he passed away. Huh? Uh, Mr. Vaishya Milos is the one uh -huh. who was since inception, inception appearing. Because he has passed away very recently. The lawyer has passed away. Yes, Mr. Vaishya has passed away. Mm -hmm. One who was representing Milos this infirmary. This number. Then another Siddharth Dave yes, is there. Siddharth Dave Milos, he says that he is no more appearing. Is not but once you have joined her yes now you cannot say that she yes, should not be heard huh? i'll serve her or the lawyer had, uh, uh, representing respondent but two. Mr. Dave Milos may seek some more inspections from Mr. Dave Milos. If somebody else is already going to replace him Milos on record, then... No, no, in the morning they said there is a notice be sent. Right. I was waiting for you only. All right. Sorry. Um, uh, respondent but two, it is submitted that uh, none of the lawyer are now representing her. Uh, representing her. And that uh, situation, let uh, notice be issued to respond number two. <clears throat> Making it returnable on. Twenty third, I'm going to ask you. Yes. Plus, I'll take direct service. Plus, to be served. direct service. Yes, plus, I'll take direct service. Direct service, service permissible. Twenty third. Please. In that case, seek direct service through concerned police station. Through concerned police station. To be served through concerned police station. Basically, you know, the essence of a case is you know, that initially it was a case of 504-5062 KFIR. Subsequently, you know, an addition reports comes on record laws, adding section 3, 1 Roman 10 laws of the Atrocities Act and section 323. Now, if she goes on improvising her version, because this is a principal argument for us that why then in that case, you know, government has forgotten us to register a case of Atrocities Act. And why only by way of an addition report, by way of a further story, a further statement loss of the informant that there was a need loss of invoke offenses under the atrocities act. Now, there also Boris Pentai's case plus it says that the informant loss should positively assert and allege that the accused was not aware because with her caste, his or her caste, and she was intentionally insulted and intimidated Milos by the accused. In this case, Milos, all of the statements 
if I say precisely one statement of the informant, you know, she says that the accused was not aware with her caste. Now she was not, he was not aware with her caste. You know, what was the reason for them was to abuse her by her caste? 23rd. How criminal busy che? Call out. Call out of criminal bone matters. Serial number 70. Leave note of Mr. A. S. Timbalian. Then it is. Serial number 183. They were requesting for 19. Serial number 184. 184, Mr. Salim Longia and Mr. Fazal Memon. This is a very brutal murder. Yeah, I am not sending any notice. Uh, let him come. This is first after the charge sheet or? No, second. Second regular mail after charge sheet. No, no, probably second or first. First order, we got to take my time. Page 24 is the first. Temporary bill, Mathi, Pacho, I give you that find out. No, keep it on uh, next Friday. In serial number 185, Mr. Shervil Patel has filed a sick note. 186. Mr. Kishan, Daya, and Rana Next, uh, next Friday. One eighty seven over. One eighty eight. Mr. K D. Next Friday. Yes. Chalo, yeh conchitli matter koni liye one kili. Okay. Supplementary one, sir. Huh? Supplementary serial number one, it is covered by Mukul Devan Day before yesterday. Then my larger friend is only want that correction in the judge. Yes, I am uh, there. I had also sought enhancement. However, that I'm giving up. Uh, the insurance company was exonerated on the ground that he was driving a rickshaw but had license for a transport vehicle. Thereafter, Mukul Devangan covers the issue. I sought pay and recover order. Cross objection was filed by the owner saying it can't be pay and recover, it has to be paid by the insurance company. Mm. That yeah, after Mukund Devangan's judgment, there cannot be an order for pay and recover. So because person holding license non transport, as per Mukund Devangan's judgment, he can also apply transport vehicle LMB. This is the rickshaw. So it is the insurance company has to pay. Please, ma'am. But that my admission may not be recorded. Admission kya hai? The judgment is there. I mean, after that, because the pain is there,
challenges by the original cross objection kon che the owner owner no they say is that there, there cannot be an order for failure so it there that also stands. cross objection will not survive so not survive <coughs> by the original claimant challenges to the judgment of the there are serial number bata dena usko Judgment <clears throat> dated 18 September 2018 passed by MSCT Tribunal Ahmedabad in MSCP number 28 of 2009. <clears throat> The claim petition was partly allowed with a, with an order entitling the claimant to recover the compensation of rupees one lakh ninety seven thousand six hundred from offer number two. The owner of the vehicle an insurance company came to be exonerated and the liability to pay the compensation to the claimant <clears throat> the owner paragraph the owner of the vehicle is also filed a cross objection 66 of 2019 challenging the order of the tribunal for the claimant. Submitted that the uh, open number one driver who have been deleted from the first title by an order below exhibit. 26 was found negligent in driving rickshaw rickshaw bearing registration number gj1az1473 owned by open number 2 advocate mr Nayak submitted that the vehicle was insured with open number three, the insurance company. The tribunal <clears throat> on submission of the insurance company. who had placed reliance on the judgment of National Insurance Company Limited versus Swaran Singh, 2004 ACG, Supreme Court, page number one, had found that the driver of the vehicle was not holding valid license to drive transport vehicle on the day of the accident. And thus considered the same as instead of transfer to vehicle auto rickshaw lakhu. Sai bit lucky table. Auto rickshaw pachi lucky and apply. And thus found it uh, to be a breach of terms and conditions of the insurance policy. Mr. <coughs> Nayak. But the claimant submitted that the tribunal was required to be 
to consider the vehicle as a passenger rickshaw and not a transport vehicle. Further, the <clears throat> The person who was holding a drive a license to drive the rickshaw, hence it cannot be said that he the or driver was not holding any valid or <coughs> effective license, since in view of the judgment of. Uh, Mukund Devgan versus Oriental Insurance Company Limited reported in 2017 volume 14 Supreme Court cases, page number 663. 663. Mr. Uh, Nayak uh, submitted that the license to drive light motor vehicle would include license to drive a transport vehicle. And therefore, submitted the endorsement in the license would not, uh, and the submitted that the license would not require any endorsement for driving a transport vehicle falling under the LMB class. Per contra, Mr. Nanavati. The tribunal has rightly considered the judgment of Swaran Singh Supra and other judgments and other supported judgments to consider the vehicle, to consider the driver of the rickshaw not holding a valid license to drive the same and submit and stated hence advocate Nanavati stated that the judgment is right in relevance to the judgment the no, judgment is appropriate in context with the judgment of Swaran Singh paragraph Facts of the case suggest that uh, <clears throat> on Sat Das Bejar Art, the claimant was uh, going towards Meena Bajar on foot. At that time, a rickshaw bearing registration number GJ1EZ1473 came in full speed in a dash and negligent manner and dashed the applicant. And uh, because of the accident, the claimant sustained injuries, serious injuries on chest and head, and suffered a fracture on jaw and left hand. <clears throat> the primary paragraph, the primary contention. of advocate uh, of both advocates representing the parties is with, with regard to the validity of the license to drive the rickshaw. During the course of full stop, during the course of the trial, <coughs> Uh, 
exhibit 60. Do you have the copy? Yes. Well, I exhibit 60 was produced on record. Vehicle weight never do do it. It says AR auto rickshaw license. Ah, yes. Place on record which was a certified copy of the RTO certificate for the, in, for the information regarding the driving license of the. His license was for auto rickshaw. <clears throat> the AR sir, chalo ekdam jaako the ek usi zerox. Huh? Me apne jis zerox apne sir, mari file ma. Yama AR jaako the ek usi but it is for auto rickshaw. Ama bhi chhi. AR lakhi. Important. The the license, the information. Which is the uh, produce is with with regard to the validity of the non transport vehicle for the period between eleven nine two thousand six to ten nine to twenty twenty six the license. AR Amana Chila Kilo. Yes, it's a Jacob's name. Amacha, my Yala Kilo. The license is for the Ekam Nari Nariake de Katu Doti. Pencil the Kagram. Don't Amato The license was for. Auto rickshaw. Ah, for that uh, the type of vehicle as noted is the auto rickshaw. Look, happy day. Happy. Great point. record for Nathira Jutu. Thank you. The what's that? Nature tribunal has highway exhibit like a theater. Otherwise, it was the documents are on the certificate of registration of the vehicle. Shows the month and year of manufacture is 2006. And the unladen weight is 3,580 kgs. And the type of body is a passenger vehicle. <clears throat> Thank you. 
having the sitting capacity of four. <clears throat> yeah. In uh, in the judgment of Mukundivgam, Supra, the which which has its force till date. refers to the definition of light motor vehicle and it was held in reference to section S -A -D, 2 section 2 into bracket 21 red week section 2 into bracket 15 and 248 that light motor vehicle would include transport vehicle as per the weight prescribed. <clears throat> A transport vehicle and omnibus, comma, the gross vehicle weight of either of which does not exceed 7,500 kg would be a light motor vehicle. <laughs> and also, motor car or tractor or a road roller, comma, unladen weight into inverted commas, of it does not exist, does not exceed 7,500 kg. And further it was held that a driver, that the holder, further it was held that the holder of the driving license to drive class of light motor vehicle into inverted commas as provided in section 10, into bracket two, into bracket D, two, uh, bracket over small d, is competent to drive a transport vehicle or omnibus. The gross vehicle weight of which does not exceed 7,500 kg. Or a motor car or a tractor or road roller, comma, the unladen weight of it does not exceed 7,500 kg. Paragraph. In view of the judgment in um, Ajay, um, Mukund Devgan, here the vehicle, the weight of the vehicle is, uh, it's a passenger rickshaw, whatever auto rickshaw, is a auto rickshaw, a passenger vehicle with a weight of hopefully 3,500 kg, which is below the Prescribe weight of uh, 7,500 kg. Hence, the driver holding a rickshaw or holding a license to drive light motor vehicle would be competent to drive a transport vehicle whose uh, weight would not exceed 7,500 kg. In view of the judgment, the policy would cover the accident and as laid down in the judgment, the, vehicle, the license would not require any endorsement of driving a transport vehicle falling under the LMB class, LMB, LMB capital. Hence, uh, the insurance company would be liable to pay the compensation in view of the fact, in view of the proposition of law, the appeal is allowed, the <clears throat> and since the open number appeal is allowed, an insurance company would be liable to pay the compensation to the claimant. Hence, in view of the fact, the cross objection would not survive.
cross objection will allow karu karu would also be same and then cross objection would be by the owner stands allowed in in the result paragraph in the result the compensation amount of rupees 1,97,600 with 7.5% interest from the date of claim petition till the realization be recovered from the insurance company. The insurance company is thus directed to deposit the amount within a period of eight weeks. Forever. The total amount be paid happy dojo. The total amount be paid to the claimant on a verification of identity. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. 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 My Lord may see the order of admission. My Lord will make the matter returnable in the next month because no compensation has been paid on the ground that the mother is the only dependent as she expired during the pendency of the claim. The claim petition has to be rejected, even though her legal rights were on record. The Lordship may see. There are five. <laughs> Here in the instant case, petitioner number one and two who are the parent of the deceased and petitioner number four who is the sister of the deceased are deleted by the petitioner submitting purses at exhibit 14 and 24 from the petition. Hence, only petitioner number three and five who are the brothers of the deceased remain survive as the petitioner right now. Further, father is likely to have his own income and will not be considered as dependent and the mother alone will be considered as dependent. In the absence of evidence to the contrary, brother and sister will not be considered as dependent because they will either be independent and earning or married or dependent on the father. Thus, even if the deceased is survived by parents and siblings, only mother would be considered to be a dependent as per the ratio laid down in para 15 of Salla Varma. In the instant case, mother is deleted from the petition, only brothers of the deceased survive and now they become major and adult and therefore they cannot be said to be dependent. On this ground alone, this petition has been dismissed. The claim petition has been dismissed. Your Lord Sidney see the first title. Who died? Claim. Your Lord Sidney see the claim, uh, cause title. <laughs> petitioner number one is the father, my Lord. Petitioner number two is the mother. Petitioner number three is the brother. Petitioner number four is the minor sister. And petitioner number five was the minor brother, my Lord. During the pendency, my Lord, the father, mother, and the sister. All three expired. Huh? Who expired? Father. Father, mother, uh -huh. and number four, the sister. Sister also expired. Please, your lordship. During yep. the during the pendency, my lord, for natural causes, they expired, my lord. Those uh, death certificate was produced at exhibit twenty. the <laughs> Death certificate was produced. And at exhibit 24, the purses was given. And I had my notes. 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 Father and a mother Gujri Jai to in a varas tarikita avit ne bada. Please, your lordship, and that is what has been stated in the last two lines of the Pursis that Elokona varas or record upper che. Ella Pachisa joined Karvani Atma Piauti. Only, yes, I don't dispute that mother would be dependent. I am not disputing that. Only who assist the honorable court in such a situation there is, I am relying upon the judgment of the Madras High Court as to how, in case pending the petition, even if the mother dies. How the compensation has to be uh, determined. Only who are dead matters as to how the matter would be decided upon remand. I am only I am assisted honorable court in my dead respect. Uh, just a moment. Okay. 
would my lords be having the judgment of madras high court yes in that my lords the facts are somewhat similar in that my lords uh, pending the petition the mother of the deceased had expired the brother had claimed the benefits so the honorable court uh, in that petition para 8 11 and 13 determined that the time between when the claim petition was filed and that in the duration from filing of the petition as well mm -hmm. as the death that period has to be counted for uh, computing the benefits of dependency. So I would uh, urge the Honorable Court to consider on these lines. And also the aspect of dependency has to be proved. There was no evidence, or rather no stage, if at all, to consider as to whether the deceased person was earning an income or not. No proof were laid. So if the Honorable Court does remand, then this aspect may also be uh, <coughs> by the Honorable Tribunal. You refer to my judgments. Please, Latest one of my judgment, I say, if they are a joint family, if they are staying in joint family, all are dependent on each other. Please, in joint all families, all are dependent on each other. And everything other. can be considered by the tribunal. Only on this. That country. is one of my judgment I have noted. In joint family, no, hoy to bada jek di japa dependent hoy. My only submission. Here, all are minor. Minor, so, but then the uh, father was earning and he was. Uh, father also died, na. But he, we, we have to father was earning so what? Was in joint families, even all kakas and all brothers and all the earn the, everything goes in hodgepodge only, na. Then but when the petition was filed, father was here. He was earning. So what? But she, our father, na thi. Shukarvan, Shukarvan. What about their livelihood? My submission is only this wise that only they will get their rights qua mother only from deriving from their mother only. As held by the Honorable Court in this judgment. My judgment, two, three judgments are there. You bring that. Please. Join family. Ma hoi, la bada, jek, di, jana, di, jana, di, for mother, I am not disputing. <coughs> you find out my all my two, three judgments are there. Please, Allah. I will bring all these. Next Friday, my Alex. Yeah, next date you take a date. Next Friday. Obliged now. Hello, check it tomorrow. Huh? Thirteen. What is the better? Once the appeal is at the instance of the original claimants for announcement, my lords. For grounds? The principal ground is regarding the assessment of the income by the learned tribunal, my lords. But it was pleaded uh, by the claimants that the deceased was earning rupees. 4,500 per month by working as a courier boy, my lords. And to establish the same, the claimants had examined uh, the employer of the deceased and, he, and who testified or note that a, a deceased was working, worked, was working in his firm and was receiving a salary of rupees 4,500. And furthermore, he also produced his income certificate. However, the tribunal does not believe this. What, what was decided by the judge? Well, the, the tribunal notionally assesses the income as rupees 3,000, my lords. But yes, that, that is they submitted that though evidence was produced and report. And uh, the uh, documentary evidence uh, was proved by the uh, evidence or testimony of the employer. Yeah, is that exhibit 48, my lord? The tribunal failed to consider the same, failed to appreciate the same. What more? Um, uh, my lord, the, uh, uh, another ground is regarding the non-payment of filial consortium to apply applicant and number one. And consortium amount has purchases. not been granted as per MAGMA. Admit.
Here the issues of negligence. Lot of see my ground E and F. Or fifty percent of have been uh, my ground E and F. In a cognate matter, fifty fifty has been granted by the other tribunal, not this. Tribunal. My ground E and F lot may go. Says that uh, the submitted that uh, the negligence aspect has not been appreciated as per the evidence and record, and the tribunal has committed an error by concluding sole negligence of the driver of trailer. trailer. Our trailer. Huh? Trailer. Trailer. trailer huh? While in while in a judge while in a case arising out of same accident. Same accident. The another tribunal. Different tribunal. Huh, no, another no, no. the uh, another tribunal has considered what 50-50? Has uh, considered the negligence of equal negligence of both the vehicles involved. Admit. Okay, six weeks. Great. Hello. Okay. Okay. Urgent high touch. Okay. Fresh matter. Fresh matter. Twenty one. Upon twenty one. One. The issue is of drive. No driving license. I have examined the driver. He has admitted him. Aka cha, aina thi bhai. One four eight nine. At same che. Ek silam or thirty two. One the victim was going as a pillion rider on the bike and met with an accident due to which he passed away. The driver, I am the insurance company of that vehicle, but I have examined the driver. The driver in his examination has stated on oath that he does not have a driving license. I have also annexed the copy thereof, which is at page 31. Hmm. Therefore, it says that the driver of the vehicle who was examined had stated on oath that he was not holding license. Pay and recover, are you sure? What is the order? Please. Pay and recover or liabilities later yeah, on? Because the learned tribunal comes to a conclusion that there was no fault on the part of the deceased. He was a billion writer. There cannot be any fault on his part. The liability issues at page 19 and 20. Though it was uh, and submitted that no. Liability can be laid down on the insurance company since it would be a breach of policy condition. Admit. Angry. Great. number 32. In this matter, there is some order is passed by your leadership on earlier occasions. Here they were traveling on a tractor trailer. <coughs> Uh, because because the, uh, appeal filed by the owner. Uh. Because once upon a time, uh, I was not there and your leadership has recorded that I should clarify. Then after I have pointed out that they were going to attend one uh, dinner function of the employer sitting on a tractor trailer. Otherwise, they were working in the diamond factory of that owner. That is the fact. In FIR and uh, Panchanama does suggest that fact. 
and in the claim petition they stated that they were earning from uh, diamond cutting mm. so that's why the tribunal has exonerated page number 8 and 9 is the Then after nobody is turning up and they are, they are not. Are they not? Are they not? Correct. Um, it appears that uh, learned advocate Miss uh, Shrushti Tula. Since Long is not attending the matter. But by an order the owner this uh, order was that to deposit the amount now yes, to the they owner have they have not amount. it appears i'm not going it appears from the record that though the applicant was to deposit the amount as determined by the tribunal. I have failed to do so. And thus the interim interim relief stood vacated the matter is for final hearing then it advocate miss tula has today too today too has failed to appear thus as a last chance let the notice be issued to be served to miss srushti tula to appear in the matter. Okay, Tariq Rakhu. So, Ugantis, which are? Bar, Ugantis, ne, Tevis Rakhu. Eight, 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 here in this case, uh, there are group of matters, but uh, appeal is only in MSCP double three four of nineteen ninety seven. This appeal is arising from And the discussion. Local dalat ma mukhyal usu thi koi nahi thi. I insurance company sir consent na pe itlo thodi takli pade. Baki only the prospective income and the consortium and the loss to the estate that would be added. Amma sir, page number four upper the discussion regarding this. Hmm. Ganti Chalautata. Pit number Chalupa. Uh, 3,000 income is considered 
uh, it's a 97 accident so that is only the prospective income is not uh, uh, considered so 40 percent rise is to be added Hello, last slide. The claimant of MSCP three three four of ninety seven have challenged the judgment. They date. Uh, Passed by MSCT Auxiliary Varudra in a group matter. Which was MSCP three three. Of ninety seven two three three five ninety seven. The facts of the case suggest that uh, That Rahim by Kasam by Vora on Chavis Ek B. Ogni Sosatan on twenty fourth of January nineteen ninety seven was going with his friend as a pillion rider on scooter bearing registration number GB seven seven three eight to that petrol pump the vehicle was driven by Kulambai Pila <coughs> pillan rider at an upper. They were turned triple sour. He had a Bujrigani. The BG claim petition appeal not three. Okay. The vehicle was driven by Gulambai Kasambai Kasambai Patel. It is. It was urged that he was on the correct side of the road and on a, and was driving in a moderate speed. When they reached near Apollo Tire company near gate number two on Vagodia des Vadodara Road at that time at about 3.15 p.m. Respond number one came driving his truck bearing registration number GJ6 T7138 in a rash and negligent manner and in an excessive speed dashed the scooter from behind. As a result, the scooter fell into one drainage and uh, this is Rahim Bhai Kazam Bhai Bora died during the treatment in the hospital. Paragraph. Mr. Hiren, uh, what for the claimant submitted? That the disease was running a floor move, F L O U R. And that fact was proved on record by producing a document which was a partition deed, Exhibit 50. To support 
which which showed that the floor shop had come in the share of the leases and even the light bill were produced of the shop at exhibit 51 mr modi stated that the tribunal has considered the income as rupees 3000 but has not granted any prospective rise in income and further stated that the dependents <clears throat> and stated that the consortium loss was required to be granted as per MECMA. Paragraph. While countering the argument, Mr. Salat, uh, Malik Salat submitted that the tribunal has considered uh, uh, the income as per the evidence and record, and there has been no evidence to substantiate the fact that the business would have been stopped would have stopped, would have been, would have stopped on the death of the, the owner. And thus submitted that the amount granted as compensation is just and reasonable paragraph. The evidence with regard to the flawed meal had been proved on record. Uh, the income of rupees 3000 has been assessed by the tribunal. The deceased died at the age of 25. The school leaving certificate was produced and recorded at exhibit 42. to prove his age, <clears throat> considering the judgment of Pranesh Shetty, prospective rise in income is required to be assessed. And accordingly, 40% considering the age, 40% rise in income would be assessed, would be added whatever, to the income thus it would be this would be considered as 4200 into bracket 3000 rupees 3000 plus rupees 1200 the considering the dependent one third amount would be deducted as a personal expense and deducting rupees 1400 1400 the monthly dependency would be rupees 2800 annually applying the multiplier of 18 The dependency loss would come to six lakhs four thousand eight hundred into bracket two thousand eight hundred multiplied by twelve multiplied by eighteen. The widow, widow, check a mother she. Ah, she's a widow. One girl is gone. Ah, mother is gone. Number one is the uh, widow. The widow of the deceased. Would be entitled for the consortium loss of rupees 40,000 as laid down in the case of Magma. The loss to estate and funeral expense as rupees 15,000 approved in the case of Pranesh uh, is required to be granted. 
in the result the following computation number one dependency loss six lakhs four thousand eight hundred consortium loss forty thousand loss to estate fifteen thousand funeral expense fifteen thousand total six lakh seventy four thousand eight hundred the tribunal has granted <coughs> four lakh fifty seven thousand Four lakh fifty seven fifty seven thousand. Hence, uh, enhanced amount will be two lakh seventeen thousand eight hundred. Whatever, seven point five percent from date of application to till the date of realization. Eight weeks total amount be paid to the claimant. Chal, hold on. Serial number eighty two. There is two C of legal aid huh? CA and huh? eighty two. What is it? There is civil application of bringing legal aids and. Delay application in legal aid CA. Hey, kya hoopar? What if CA one of twenty twenty three? Legal aids, response number one. And delay application in legal aids, CA. There is 50, CA2 of 2023. There is 53 days delay. Delay number? 82. हाँ मैटर नथी लागे थे यहाँ सुधी फोन नहीं नहीं फोन नहीं डबल वन अच्छे Submitted that uh, there are 53 days delay. Till number 82 Pakaja, Ma, Makai application CA1 of 2023, but a CA2 of 2023, base at 11. 53 days delay in bringing the heads of uh, of Soma by Dungar by Parma. Response number one in cross objects. Huh? Response number one. one. In cross objection number 17 of 2008. And first appeal. And first appeal. And in first appeal. And party in first appeal. And the kid on the challenge. 
we submitted to that only after receiving the information regarding the as the application could be moved. Thus, that had led to delay of uh, 53 days. Which is a quarter of a month. Delay of the month. We lucky in Delay of the month. As we brought on record, necessary amendment be made in the cross objection 17 of 2008 and first appeal 4911 of 2007. Okay. Amen. Serial number three in daily board. The matter is listed for condonation of delay. My Lord, sir, delay is of six days only. Sixty-six days delay. Interdepartmental process of uh, seeking sanction and opinion. Delay sufficiently explained. Condon. You are for Mr. Mina. Yes. Obliged. Hey, affidavit lay na ata. Ne muke je sombar. Tum ne affidavit sombar apshe. Monday. Ne Monday rakhi se sombar. Monday rakhi. Affidavit Lena Avila, the Mego Somber Apo, you were not there. 